Scotty here. It's April 3rd, 2023. Wanted to shoot a video. I'm going to be doing uh, just one shot with this video, kind of explaining things, what's going on in the greenhouse. It's been just over a week in the last video, and I want to do some updates and show the growth. I'm going to start with outside. We got a big project. We just started outside. We're doing a root cellar, and we just had our neighbor. He come and brought his tractor in here and dug it out the other day. So I'll film the root cellar part first and then we'll go around the greenhouse. Let's make our way out. It's a little bit windy today. Not much going on out here. But uh, two days ago, we had this dug out. And let's take a look. Right now it's dug out at 12 feet by 12 feet. We're gonna do the process of building the whole root cellar. That's gonna be in some videos coming up. It's gonna change the entire landscape of this area once we get it built. We're gonna have a slope roof this way and then a big mound. And then we'll end up covering the mound with some type of flowering growth or vegetation but uh, let's take a look in the greenhouse it's been awesome having this once again there's just over 1800 plants in here almost everything is sprouted so we'll take a look at the lower level The Sunzilla Giant Sunflowers, they're kicking. I just transplanted this tray. I had a tray like this and I'm transplanting them into the bigger containers to give them more space to grow. And then I'll be planting those. Second weekend of May is the target to start planting. Uh, super stoked pansies have started to sprout I've got quite a lot of these getting ready to go. I'll just run through. And these came up. I was waiting for these ones to come up. Just little sprouts. Soon they will be flowers. And I about threw the towel in on my giant pumpkins. They've been in a sowing for about four weeks. I had them initially in seed starter soil and they just didn't do anything and I transplanted them into the potting soil and sure enough one of the giant pumpkins sprouted. So this has been four weeks in the making so I'm really excited about the giant pumpkin. And then over here I decided kind of last minute to plant some more peppers and those have started coming up just so I have enough jalapenos, serranos, jal uh, habanero and then over here this is awesome <clears throat> got the jack-o-lantern pumpkins the Big Max pumpkins I've done these the last two years and have had a lot of success these do really well with your average size sometimes a little bigger pumpkin Cucumbers are coming up. Nothing on Lufa yet. I don't know if these want to sprout or what, but we'll stay tuned on that. These have been growing a lot. I'm excited about those. I've got a lot of places for vines. Everything's growing. These have really been kicking. giant corn. I'm going to probably transplant these into some bigger pots. The roots are started to come through the bottoms on some of them. Really excited about the giant corn. And these are just some giant sunflowers thrown in that tray. Actually move this next to those giant sunflowers. More zinnias. It's just so cool coming in here. 
it grows just a little bit every day. Over here I still just have the flower, the vine spinach. Spinach that grows on the vine. The kale's kicking. Nothing yet on these pots. These have ginger and those have turmeric. I'm guessing those will be coming up when it's a little bit warmer, maybe within a month. These are the peppers that I chose to throw in, in here to overwinter them in here. And I'm going to turn these peppers into bonsai plants. I'm going to attempt to do bonsai on them. And there's actually a term for it. It's called bonchi. When you take a pepper plant and you bonsai it, it's called bonchi. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to get the ladder and we will take a look up on the second shelf. There's a lot going on up here. These are the Sunny Boy Sunflowers. These are Maximilia Sunflowers. If you check out my video from last week, you can see the growth comparison. Zucchinis are coming up. Not a huge fan of zucchinis, but I got two yellow and two regular zucchinis going. And then watermelons coming. Cantaloupe. More sunflowers. And more variety of marigold. And up here, it's starting to turn into a little forest. <clears throat> These are broccoli. These are my Brussels sprouts. Those sprouts, this is a week worth of growth. There's more broccoli right here. Basil. These are broccoli. So all together I have over 50 broccoli and 50 Brussels sprouts, 50 plus. And the tomatillos are just kicking. Look at these next to my hand. Some peppers up here, big Thai. These are all the tomatoes. There's 62 Roma tomatoes. 81 plants all together and they're doing really good in size it's awesome it's working Let's move the ladder down and check out that far end these flowers <clears throat> these gold dust flowers i've been anxious to for them to come up, these ones, I have 200 of them planted. And not too long ago, three, four days ago, they started to sprout. Kind of hard to see. They're still really small, but they were, they're gonna start going. And when these get bigger, I'm gonna transplant these into just a slightly bigger container. More growth. So yeah, that's a tour of what's been going on the last week in the greenhouse. <laughs> it's looking really, really good. By next week, it'll be growing a lot more. Thanks for watching. I will post another video in a week. This is Locust Gardens Greenhouse.